Something is very wrong here. You should not have access to this video right now. Sick. Oh, look at that. Martial law, fifth data pack in a flashpoint cycle. Oh, here we go. Announcing the fifth data pack in a flashpoint cycle, Android Netrunner. That just looks sick. Oh, look at that. Young climbed into the, his exosuit and glared at the two people in the squad. He was most worried about one of them was the ESW embedded. Mm -hmm. A sergeant named Braid, who spent more time checked in than he did in his own body. The other wasn't even a person. Fantasy Flight Games is proud to announce the upcoming release tomorrow of release of martial law. The fifth and penultimate data pack in the flashpoint cycle for Android Netrunner. New Angeles is, has plunged into chaos. Its citizens are trapped in their arcologies or huddled together in whatever safe space they can find. The city's streets have become a war zone and if the corp corpse can't or want us to order, then a time has come for the US government to intervene. Oh my god, just like in New Angeles. My god, it's basically going to be New Angeles, isn't it? So, the rumour about um, Melange becoming its own corporation, like a mini faction, oh, and um, Globesec has become its own mini faction for corporations, that might be hold some weight to it. Yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. I'd like to see that. I would indeed like to see that. Shock and awe are the order of the day in martial law, starting with two new neutral currents, one of each for Run and Corp. The expansions, 60 new cards, three copies of each, and 20 different cards. Okay, so there's no um, mass things. Are going to bring new a new order to the world's largest city, one way or another. But when this new order is established, who will be viewed as the winners in what will they have gained? One of them is going to be a Federalist. Oh my goodness, who's going to be a Federalist? Right, so I'm not looking at these Jinteki cards yet. I don't know what those cards in the middle say. I'm just looking at this one on the end. It looks like it's for um, Apex Reva program. The something. The first time each turn. The first time you trash an installed card each turn. Ooh. So whenever you trash something, Reva does something. I bet it mills a card. I'm betting, I'm gambling that it mills a card. <laughs> it either mills one of the corporate cards or it draws a card. Right, I think this middle one's into techie card. Neon Guy Grid. If the one has fewer than two cards in the heap, it looks like. Or like two cards in his or her hand, then something happens. Interesting. Misdirection. Oh, a shape of program. No idea what it does, but it costs zero. IP block. Oh, I love the way they're fanning this out. When the runner encounters IP block, give him or her one tag. If there is an installed AI, nice. Oh, finally. So, well, it's nice to get more AI anti-AI, even if it is an MBN, which M MBN doesn't need it. 
Yeah, NBN doesn't need it. Waylon needs it. HB needs it. Jinteki and NBN, they don't need it. Trace free if successful, give the runner one tag. End the run if the runner is tagged. So if they've got a yeah, breaker, it becomes a data raven. Hmm. Yeah, we've seen this one before. So if it's advanced all the way, court gains three, do three net damage, give a tag and end the run. Hmm. Yeah, we've seen this. But oh, okay, it's strength five though. That's what makes it. That's what makes it. It's a strength five. The four cost. Yeah, that's what makes it good. Waylon needs this. This is my UMC XBO30 though, many like it, but this one is mine. Based off Full Metal Jacket, nice. Interdirection, interaction? Okay, okay. Here we go. This is a card. There are many ways in Android Net Runner for the titular runners to disrupt the plans of the mega corporations against which they run. In fact, these disruptions and the court's efforts to work around them are pretty much the core of the game. And much of the runner's work is to find the best combination of the tools, craft, strategy that lets him or her use those tools for maximum disruption. So far, the meta seems to be gain money run or just mill, you know, just um, lock R&D and mill it. Interdiction. I do not know what this word means. I'm going to look it up because, you know what, I'm all about the flavour here. So, let's just look it up. Interdiction is a military term for the act of delaying, disrupting, or destroying enemy forces or supplies en route to the battle area. A distinction is made between strategic and tactical interdiction. That is sick. Good. We fucking need that. Bloody damaging contract. Hate that card. The one cost current. Oh my god, that was one cost, current, not one influence. Interdiction, current. After the agenda text, the, the corp cannot res non ice cards during the runner's turn. Okay, so the corporation cannot res non ice cards during the runner's turn. That's just sick. That's way powerful. You can't Jackson. Can't use traps. That's really powerful. That is really, really powerful. Damon, I don't understand. Look, well, no, I understand you're increasing the power, but I still feel that the runner has more power in their cards besides the ID the corporation to me is getting powerful IDs versus powerful cards that support the weaker IDs like custom Beltics, for example um, presec is a good strong card more cards like presec that support the corporation rather than actual being the powerful corporation the runner is getting cards like temujin contract which just boosts them unilaterally and i find that cards like um ig and control the message are powerful ids but the support around them are not as strong and that's my view here that's what i'm seeing and interdiction is another one of those cards that that helps any runner, even professor. No matter no matter the run, it helps all the runners. Yes. So, I mean, boom is a good card, for example, that that boosts that can boost all corporations. Door to door, not so much. So, okay, I suppose corporations are getting some, but I still feel the runner are getting 
more and they're more unilaterally use, they use the usable across the board straight away boom you have to set that up to use it um, presec you have to set that up to use it again the corporations are not getting stuff that they can just use straight away without some kind of contrived setup and um, that's my viewpoint there we need more stuff to protect R&D lock more stuff to protect R&D lock just, just corporations are getting hammered on R&D in martial law all the games runners gained valuable access to a new tool which they can immediately begin mucking things up with interdiction is an event that plays for just one credit in prince corporation from original ice cards on the runner's turn and because it's current it stays in the plane to the corpse scores and gender is replaced by another current the ramifications are the ramifications are significant it means that while the u.s military is locking down the streets of new angeles and keeping tabs on the corpse and their servers the runner won't face any surprise except for the those presented by the corporate's layers of ice. Jackson Howard can't be raised <laughs> to talk his way out of the trouble on shuffle the corpse news back into RD during your one on archives. You're granting your rigs measure of immunity to surprise planted Keegan Lane. Yeah, Keegan Lane's not gonna happen. Okay, with a wisp maybe, but no, it's just too expensive. Even Jintaki's Caprice Nise <laughs> nice. That fought your run. They're, they're really reaching here. There's really reaching for Keegan Lane and Will the Wisp. I'm, I'm sorry, Damon. I realize that they're cards, but they're not as. I mean, Jackson Howard, yes. That is a powerful card that solves that helps corporations unilaterally across the board. And Caprice Nisei, yes, a powerful card that helps corporations unilaterally across the board, except for mine, custom biotechs, but there we go. But I will admit, it does help unilaterally across the board. But Keegan Lane, nah. No, sorry. Trashing pro, pro trashing programs is nowhere near as powerful as it used to be for the amount of recursions that runners have, except for criminal. But they have backups and they have paperclip now. Um, Will of the Wisp, no, too much setup, far too much setup. And again, it only delays. It doesn't stop the shapers or doesn't doesn't really stop the arcs that much. They just draw through and get another one. And no, no, there's too many ways for them to get through without without breakers so I'm sorry yeah I'm sorry that's there's nothing and sometimes I don't even yeah yeah no no I'm sorry Jackson Howard yes Caprice Nisei, say yes Keegan Lane no Will of the Wisp no far too inefficient far not powerful enough you know battery you like like for Jackson Howard and Caprice Nisei. say and of course even while martial law and inter interdiction allow you to ignore many of the Surprise the core might have in tier to use against your runs. You'll still be able to use all your new tricks against the corp. You'll find icebreakers that can leap into play from your heap. Cars that oh, come on. What's the point of trashing programs if they're just gonna come straight back? What does HB have? Seriously. Clicks don't work. Trashing programs don't work. It's, it's, there's no Eli's. There's all the ice is too expensive to res unless you're playing engineering the future. And even then you can barely afford it and then you have to pack so many slots in just to protect from the protect from the trashing it's just i don't understand why yes introduce power cards but introduce them across the board it's it's, it's really frustrating and what's whaling gonna do well, the links everywhere. There's, it's not getting enough money compared to the run. The run is getting too, too much money too fast, and when they can't keep up, just can't keep. It's just sorry. Your fine icebreakers are getting to play from heap. Cars that you shed your disguise and avoid tags. Great. And a couple of illusions employed and granted effect by the shaper Ellie Smokes Slovak. Let's go back. Misdirection. Are you fucking serious?
Are you fucking serious? My custody boss was just winning, and I was. I had to cut tagging stuff down to the bone, and even then I can. How's when I'm gonna land tags now? Seriously, do you have trouble getting one tag off? And I mean, I don't have enough money to get during the same turn. I have to maybe look at hard hitting news and wait a few turns to. <sighs> well, you know what? You know what? I throw a bone here. If the runner's gonna have misdirection, then. Corporation is going to need much better ways to land tags. I mean, not just MBN. MBN can have a stupid way out way to land tags, but Wayland's going to need some stupid ways to land tags, like snares or something. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, going to need some ways to land tags. Just going to, just going to need some ways to land more tags, so that so that's kind of balanced because. No, it's just, no, it's just. Equilification. Two cost, one cost, pro two cost, one memory unit program. Whenever you make a success for one R&D, you may reveal the top card of R&D. If you do, you may force the court to draw that card. It is only illusion of choice. Okay, so it lets you dig a bit. But it's unique. Okay. And run CR and D, force him to draw the card. With Mayor's console, I suppose you can tr dig through two cards. Then R and D interface, you can dig through more, I suppose, but. Woman in red can dig through six, I imagine. Fine, you know, it's fine, it's fine. But where's all the corporation stuff? I've not seen any corporation cards. Some basic misdirection makes it easier to shed the masses of tags you might suffer on an account siphon. When MBN comes after you, misses replacements, fine. And during the run on R&D, you can give the corp the idea that you're about to access the top card before using equivocation to reveal it and hand it to the corp to access the next card instead. The restoration of order, I don't get paid to be calm. Anderson Rose. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here we get to the corporation stuff. Even if your cemetery is going to start limiting the authority of the world's biggest corporations, and even if those corporations suddenly have to play fair, you can bet they are still going to find new ways to manipulate things in their favour. Indeed, even if the restoration of order in New Angeles doesn't quite lead to the exact form of order they any or any of the courts would have desired, it still leads to a future that is more stable, more predictable, more likely, more profitable. Okay, we've seen this card three times now, so I'm not even going to go over it again. And the martial law, the corpse can shift their focus away from chasing after those responsible for the losses, and whether it means runners or the corpse towards securing the new plan to accordingly you'll find a whole new dead fast ice to safeguard the corporation of signs of the other cards so it's discouraged faithful intrusion most long of course show a bit more uh, compliance but these new pieces are still echo much of this corporation has been flash print cycle yes yes you have to invest in the code gate so technically it's still a
Okay, so it comes by person who fast three times. You know about this. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Anson Rose. Executive. When your turn begins, place one advancement token on Anson Rose. Whenever you raise a piece of ice, you may move any number of advancement tokens from Anson Rose to ice. Okay. So you can dedication ceremony him, I suppose, if you really want to. After advancing your... But, yeah, okay. You'd play... Why would you you'd play this over dedication ceremony? Because you save influence. It's slower, but you save influence. Well, advance you three times without time transition bank. Junior level. Executive Anson Rose. To relax a little, not likely, given the sort of trouble in which Titan Treasure finds itself. He'd like to remain on the edge, but once he's helped advance your analysis, he'll at least be able to direct his attention towards your next project. And if it's only a little forward looking, it's still a great deal of it. Plus, it's a show of order that counts. You can still direct your preset units to plenty of preemptive action. Oh, that's a Jackson Howard one. You just can't let them get caught while the US military is sitting outside your front door. Yeah, preemptive action is the Jackson Howard. Yes, yeah, the Jackson Howard. Zero influence. Okay, that's 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 good. That's how I use that's how I use Jackson Howard anyway. Well, except now it's gonna cost me a click. Yeah, I started using Jackson Hard about two months ago. It made my deck better. Just wish it didn't, but it did. Because I've been two years without using Jackson Howard, and that's just it just fixes so many problems. A new future for New Angeles. It may not be clear what the future holds for New Angeles, but it's clear that there are meant to be some fundamental changes. Many of them will depend upon how the games, corps, and runners respond to the information of the law. What you make of the temporary rule, you should also get a chance to find out. Eh. Yeah, this one wasn't as powerful as I thought it'd be. I was expecting more on the corporation side, to be honest. Because I was sincerely thought that was going to push things in favour of the corporation now, and maybe, and especially, specifically, Wayland. But they seem to be doubling down on Runner here. I don't understand the idea of doubling down on Runner. Although, to be honest, I don't feel my exile is as powerful as it could be. Then again, I still feel the power's all in Anarch here. Either way, um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.